Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now I heard some interesting news and I kind of agree with this news. It's kind of funny, but I kind of agree with it. Not wholeheartedly, but you know, to 50%, I thought it was a very interesting take. It's from former heavyweight champion who I don't like because he beat my boy, the GOAT, Lennox Lewis, Haseen Rockman. Now, I ain't got nothing against Rockman, right? Rockman, he, he be trying to tell the truth, so, you know, he'll just talk, right? And I just don't like him because he knocked my boy out, right? So, you know, that's why I don't like him. Same reason, you now, just to put things in perspective, I don't like Michael Jordan because he wasn't on the Lakers. I don't let him like LeBron James because he wasn't on the Lakers early in his career. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I don't like, I, I appreciate their talent. You know what I'm saying? So I just mean it like that as a sport, uh, a sport thing, you know. But anyway, Hasim Rotman came out and said something about the heavyweight division, which is not so far-fetched. And he says, Alexander Uzik is going to beat Tyson Fury, right? And let's just stay there for a second. Uh, when I saw Steve Cunningham fight Tyson Fury, uh, Steve Cunningham did real well against Tyson Fury. And if Steve Cunningham could do well against Tyson Fury, then so the hell can Alexander Uzik. It's just really that simple. He's a southpaw. Alexander Uzik is a good mover. And he just says that Alexander Uzik is going to out Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury. And what he means about that is Tyson Fury is normally the faster guy, the guy who faints and faints and and does these things. And that's what uh, Alexander Uzik does. Well, Alexander Uzik is a great defender. Alexander Uzik is a great counterpunch. Alexander Uzik is pretty much a great everything. I, will, I probably wouldn't say body puncher. But he's a great, he's a great everything. And um, I think Alexander Uzik is susceptible, susceptible, susceptible to the body. I've seen a couple of occasions that he gets hurt to the body. But Uzik is a very complete fighter, guys. And uh, you don't just dominate or beat Anthony Joshua over 24 rounds being that much smaller than him. You just don't. So, and another thing about Alexander Uzik, we, we, we always talk about it. He's a legend already. He's mentally extremely tough to go into everybody's backyard. And he got Tyson Fury shook right about now. That's my opinion. You talk about 70-30 against a guy like that, you're shook. Right? Tyson Fury shook. So, uh, I, it's not far-fetched to say Alexander Uzik does come out on top of Tyson Fury, even though Tyson Fury is 6'9", 270 pounds. But I think that Alexander Uzik, I'm never going to bet against him because Alexander Uzik is Alexander Uzik. And he's, he deserves that respect. But he says something that I also agree with. You got to be careful. He says though Deontay Wilder could possibly beat him. And let's be real. Deontay Wilder fan or not, you do see people laying out against Deontay Wilder. Right? Not from a barrage of punches. Not from being beat up over a whole bunch of rounds. Just from one second to the other, laid out. Big behemoths of people. You know, laid out. Stavern. Have you ever seen Stavern laid out like that before? Dominic Brazil. Have you ever seen him laid out like that before? One punch. Sergei Laikovic. People to act like he was a bum. That boy was a champion. Right? I, you know, Kelvin Price was... Undefeated when he got knocked the hell out like that. Uh, uh, Lewis, the real King Kong Ortiz, hadn't been down before he got down twice messing with this uh, Deontay Wilder. Right? Tyson Fury, constantly laid out. Right? Just getting long counts in every fight. Any Anybody I'm missing? Uh, your boy, um, the, the, the Negro, uh, I forget his name right now. But anyway, him, big 6'5 dude. Right. Anybody who, well, first of all, anybody who was in the ring with Deontay Wilder laid out. So and quickly, Hellenius shows he almost did a death punch on him. Very short punch. You know, the one Bruce Lee had. He had one of them on him. So you could be moving and doing this and do that. But you mess around and get swiped by Deontay Wilder and you can get knocked out. And uh, Alexander Uzik is not so much bigger than Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? They probably weigh around the same. Or uh, Uzik got him by a few pounds. And so Deontay Wilder's length, quickness, and deadliness is something that I think, well, yeah, Uzik would have a problem with this guy over uh, 12 rounds because he'd have to be on his P's and Q's for the whole 12 rounds. And even Uzik, as much as y'all know, I think Uzik is a legend. I think Deontay Wilder is a legend too. For me, Deontay Wilder is undefeated. Don't get me started explaining. 
right? And the only person that, that beat him is a 270-pound dude, behemoth, who wasn't playing with the right cards, and Deontay Wilder beat him in the first fight. So, yeah, Deontay Wilder is the only guy that I could see with Joe Joyce. Now, Joe Joyce is a problem for anybody in the, in the division right now because Joe Joyce has punch resistance, and he's coming forward for 12 rounds. That's a problem for anybody. But Deontay Wilder is somebody who I do think uh, is going to give Uzik a problem. But by then, Uzik should be undefeated, undisputed. So he probably won't have to do that. But if he does, watch out for that one. But anyway, I just thought that Hasim Rahman might be right here. It's an interesting point, but I kind of feel that way too. I really uh, like the Wilder and Uzik. They don't really have to fight, but I do understand that's a fight that if Uzik and Tyson Fury finally get it on, that's probably the last thing that uh, Uzik is going to want to do before going out. And I think that Deontay Wilder will take the fight just because of the legendary status too. And it'll be a scrap and it'll be a pay-per-view big-time event. What y'all think? Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.